it's a set of tools for you know building communities um, for connecting with people for challenging power uh, for creating a space where people can talk about power and challenge power and um, you know it's tools for practicing you know revolution or practice practicing change practicing transformation mm -hmm. to emphasize the capacities for creating the future, for creating the new world that we want to see, and that we have the capacities to do that. And we, all we need is to work together sometimes in a certain space, which is safe, inclusive, and supportive, to realize the capacities that we have within us already. But we, we ask that question a lot. I said, well, why don't we work together in this space here and now to see uh, how we can envision this world, how uh, how we can think about the capacities that we need to create this world and practice and develop those capacities here and now and then make the connections between what we uh, experience, the dynamics um, that we experience working together, mm -hmm. uh, creating new shapes and forms and sounds together, improvising together, so it's collective. To make a connection between that and our own experience outside of this laboratory workshop. That for the world to be as I would like it to be, I have to be like that. And I think that the only way that, and one of the ways that I've learned to be that way is by doing theater of the oppressed. Um, in terms of, it, it, it makes me, it's made me less judgmental. Uh, it's made me kinder. Um, it's let me rehearse and practice the, the, the things that I'd like to see. So for example, um, you know, uh, open, uh, decision making decision making processes uh, you know consensus building <clears throat> dialogue um, with you know people from all over and all different walks of life and all you know and it, it's letting me practice sort of connecting with all different kinds of people it's a tool that actually works you know it's not just I'm not just talking about an abstract ideal and I'd like it to be like this and da da da, da. I'm actually acting out the things that I want. And the reappropriation of space and land mm -hmm. for the good of all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has to be repercussion of resources for the good of all. It has to also be a shift in our thinking um, in terms of um, the rights, what are human rights, animal rights, what are the rights of the planet, what are the rights of nature. In other words, it has to, for me, that requires a shift in thinking, a shift in awareness, and an understanding that we all we can't do it alone. We all need one another to be able to do that. Occupy Wall Street for me is, is part of a larger Occupy. Yeah. <laughs> Occupying the world. Mm -hmm. we taking back, taking back our lives. And, and um, so, you know, it's happening all over the world. And it's, and it's happened many times in history in different manners, in different ways. People take back their lives, they can take control over their lives. Uh, for the good of all, for the common good, and not for profit. For the good of all human beings and for the good of the planet. I think we have a lot, a lot to do. So for me, Occupy Wall Street is an expression here in my own, you know, my own town of, of, a, of a, a, a turning point where people are no longer afraid to go on the streets. And, um, and and state, you know, that we want a new world. And uh, what I love about it, not only there, but, but all the different occupies, is the, is the, again, the horizontal leadership model that, that really has been at the basis of this. I know now I understand that there are challenges 
or challenges. The challenges have to do with how do we self-organize? How do we self-organize so that the, so that we all help each other develop leadership capacities? Everyone has to be a leader. Leaderless society is one way to say, for me, is the other side of the coin of a leaderless society is a society where everyone is a leader. Everyone contributes. Everyone acknowledges everyone's capacities to contribute to a good life, to uh, to uh, sharing of resources, so that nobody has to sleep on the streets. Everybody has a much to go. You know, all, everybody has a home. Everybody contributes to to a good life. We have so but the, the earth has the plant has so many resources. We can all all not only survive, we can all thrive. In the sixties we say it's a happening, but the happenings were were happening in the artistic sphere. This is happening on the political sphere. On the social sphere. Everybody's participating in that giving workshops and asking people what they need. And what's come about is uh, the need to, well, as a result, we focused on uh, capacity building workshops, where dialogue happens around the capacities that we need to develop in order to do what we need to do and do it in a very horizontal way, with an awareness that uh, we need to understand what's happening historically. We need to understand it you know, economically. So in other words, we have to have an analysis. In these workshops that we give, um, an analysis happens through uh, sculpting, body sculpting. It happens through games. You know, we play and then we talk about the dynamics that happen.